So we finally got our boat. Yeah. Isn't she great? Let's go for a sail. Right. On board. Okay, so we hand that up a bit. Uh, yeah, just had to do that in honour of that last scene in Romancia Stone where uh, Michael Douglas has his boat sitting in the middle of New York. Anyway, so thanks, Michael. You were part of the inspiration for us to go sailing around the world. Anyway, yeah, so time to get these off and let's take Tranquilo for a sail. Welcome to Tranquilo. I'm Phil. I'm Aiden. And I'm Elle. We are so excited to be starting off our sailing adventure around the world. We uh, have always loved sailing, we've been doing it for the last 17 years. And essentially I've been planning this for the last 10 years. A bit more than that because Phil has talked about this ever since I met him when I was 18. That was about 23 years ago. Yeah. There you go, I'm 41. Um, yeah, and, he, and at that time Phil described how his grandfather had built a boat and didn't quite get to realise that dream of, of just going off on a sailing trip. So it was important to us to do this trip before we retired and take advantage of the fact that we're also a young family and um, to enjoy quality time together and also for Aidan to experience different countries and cultures and languages and food all the wonderful things about the world. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to all the amazing landscapes, the people we'll meet, the different cultures we'll experience. I mean, we've always loved adventure, uh, extreme sports and travel, and there's no better way of combining all those three than going sailing. Uh, just going back 10 years, uh, I mean, really, that's when it really kind of clarified for me that I really want to do this. Right now we're in Piran, Slovenia, 500 kilometers that way, down the coast of Croatia, is a little beach called Slatni Rat. And it's just this amazing finger of beach that juts out into the water. We turned up and dropped anchor. And right next to us was this big yacht. And there was these guys just sitting on it. Uh, they had an Austrian flag, so I take it they were Austrians, just lounging around. Probably in their 60s, retired. And my first thought was, wow, what a great way to live, you know, to spend time with your friends. The second thought was, I don't want to wait till I'm their age, 60. Uh, why not do it when we are still, you know, around 40? And that's mm -hmm. when it really, you know, clarified for me that that's exactly what I want to do. Yeah. So here we are. This and is the start of the adventure. 
The important thing I'd like to make clear for everyone too is that you don't have to be rich to do this. So we're by no means rich. Um, we had a little apartment in Sydney, we sold that, so we have no mortgage. We sold the car, no car, no rent, no nothing. Essentially, this is our home. Yeah, so, the, the main thing is, yeah, we're totally free, unencumbered, you know, and prepared to sail around the world. Yeah. Um, so, Aiden, what are you excited about? The Atlantic. Why are you excited about the Atlantic? Yeah, because. I get to see my best mate in my family. Best mate in your family? Yeah. Who's that? Lachlan slash Lockie. Lockie. So we're... And I hope he's watching this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from us having a great adventure, we really want to inspire everyone who's watching to think about how to fill your dream. Doesn't matter if you've got a mortgage, doesn't matter if you've got a job, a secure job. You've got your dreams and mm. Just make them work for you. Get out there and just do it. Welcome aboard. Let me show you inside. Here's Aiden's room. He's busy listening to YMCA. And come around this way. This is the guest cabin, which at the moment is a little bit of storage space for the Watt and Sea water generator and the pillows that we, when we're sailing, we sort of cuddle the Watt and Sea to protect it. Spot for a boat hook, EPIRB, emergency beacon, our stove obviously, this galley as the kitchen's known in sailing parlance is actually bigger than the one we had in our first little apartment in Sydney yeah, so man. very happy with that. The lounges, the table that drops down to be able to have say, beds. Aiden singing Young Man from YMCA. Chart table with all sorts of bits and pieces there. This is our control panel, so um, lights on, lights off, all sorts of things there. The VHF radio. And in the living room and the cabins, we've had some fans installed. Obviously in the Caribbean and the Pacific, we're going to want a little bit of breeze and lots and lots of these to open as well. Just a neat little feature here. Oh, let me turn the lights back on. These lights have two functions. The usual LED, energy efficient, off. This is the other function, the red light is so it's we've tried it out at diet actually really effective um, for being able to see but it doesn't cast this bright light above so it's it's good for people who are on night watch at the helm turn that one off this is our cabin up here nice and bright and airy double bed sweet. That's the toilet or the heads as they're known. This one's our shower which at the moment is sporting equipment storage so we're gonna have to do something about that. But there's lots of little nooks and crannies like under our bed that we've hardly ever we've hardly used at all so we've got some space to play with there. That's about it. The only other thing I didn't show you on the way through was the other heads which is a combined, a combined toilet and shower. That's our boat. Welcome. So why the name Tranquilo? When we were getting close to buying the yacht, we had all kinds of names for the yacht. We had Falcon, Sapphire Dragon. Some friends of ours, once we described what the yacht's most likely going to look like, thought, why not New York Loft Apartment? but that really didn't gel with us. Uh, then one day I was having a shower and I was uh, just thinking about some of the great times we had in Brazil and where if some European Australians waiting for their beer, the waitress would go, tranquilo, tranquilo, 
you know, chill out. And I thought, you know what, that's it. You know, we've been working for 20 years, you know, just hard years of work. And we thought, it's about time we chilled out. Elle loved it straight away. And just as importantly, Elle's mum hated the names earlier. She thought we'd be just gunning it around across the Atlantic, across the Pacific, you know, uh, really pushing the boat too hard. So when we texted her, said, we've got a name, Tranquilo, she thought, fantastic. That's exactly the attitude that you guys and we want to take sailing around the world. So there you go, Tranquilo, chill out. It's great to be back in Paran. Last time we were here was around eight years ago when Aiden was just a wee baby. Paran used to be part of the Venetian Empire. As you can see, some of the architecture is uh, very, very Venetian. And you see up there, the church tower is very similar in design to San Marco's tower in Venice. I've just found out what these black flags are for. It's, there's a float at the bottom, so the fishermen throw that in and it marks where the nets are and also performs another useful function, which is to keep the seagulls away. How about we wander up to the top and then wander back down this way? I'd rather grab me a coffee in the town square. Right now or later? Now. Okay. Let's cross. Five months in the mid. It's going to be like this. It's going to be great. Second half of the 15th century. It's old. Very old. We're at the highest point of the town wall at Piran. This wall was built when Venice took control of Piran in the 1400s and they then ruled for almost 500 years. They built this wall because they were worried about the Turks invading and yeah obviously it still stands today which is a fantastic spot to come and have a look at Piran. We can also see Tranquilo over there in the marina. We are going to the church. Okay, so that was episode one. We really just wanted to introduce Tranquilo to you, a bit of background about our adventure. Uh, next episode, we want to look at how we commissioned the yacht to make sure that it's fit and ready to go sailing around the world, and a bit about the equipment that we've pulled together to make sure that we're safe and we have a great journey ahead. Uh, then we're about to set off down the coast of Croatia, so uh, we'll come to that shortly. If you like this bucket, please sell it to a bunny. No, just kidding. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to follow our adventures. Yay!